Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to In The Second Half. Episode four is coming your way of anything but rugby with the one and only Lima Sopa Wonga. 80 time All Black, now over here playing in the Prem for Wasps. Uh, it's gonna be a pleasure to speak to this guy. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do. It makes a massive difference. And also check that notification bell as well. Let's get on with the video. So we were just about to head off to uh, Leamington Spa, which is a lovely part of lovely part of the world, actually. A um, little bit nervous, to be honest with you. Um, it's the first time where the guest that we'll have on is um, I've never never met before. By all accounts, he's a lovely, lovely bloke. Uh, so very much looking forward to it. But it will be a bit different. Um, so here we go. Here we are, anything but rugby, with uh, the one and only Lima Sopawonga. Thank you very much for coming on. No worries, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Welcome to uh, In the Second Half, um, where obviously there's only one thing that we can't talk about, and that would be... Rugby. Yeah. Can't yeah, rugby. from now. From yeah, now. Yeah, from go. Um, <laughs> in the second half, we just like to delve into the important stuff straight away. So um, if, it, if this question is too personal, you just let me know. I'll take it out. Love Ireland. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I'm so sorry, man. No, but I actually, I couldn't say yes or no. I, I actually don't even. Never watch watched it. it. I've never watched the show. Never watched one episode. Okay, in that case, let me just. Yeah, we don't need any of these. <laughs> Here we go. How does uh, how does Coventry compare to Dunedin? Yeah, when I think of Coventry, it's like. I think, you know, like a gritty city, you know, like you kind of grow through and you're like, oh man, this place has been through yeah. some shit, you know what I mean? Like, um, and obviously it has because of the war and, and everything like that. Some, you know, commentary, is, I've met some cool people from there and um, you know, one of them plays in Jersey Reds at the moment and he's a pretty hearty cog skin. So, uh, Play, plays what? He plays uh, in Jersey, plays hooker. Oh, in... Yeah, in the champ. In, in rugby. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. there we go, there yeah. we go. It's fuck. difficult, isn't it? It's right. difficult. You think about rugby, all yeah. right. Fuck. From now. Strike one. And, and then, obviously, Dunedin, end of a night out. What would you do? Burn a sofa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, the students, the students, I, 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 I wouldn't do. You, you wouldn't nah. say any couches nah. alive. I, w I wouldn't say any couches alive, but. It's an interesting tradition. I do know people who, know people who have done it. Uh, it's actually pretty random, you know, like. Sometimes you'll go to like flat parties in Dunedin. Yeah. This is when I was young, you know, 18. Yeah. Um, just going home with all my mates and it'd be two, three in the morning, they'll just decide to light their couch on fire. They'll just take it outside on the street and just start burning. As you would. Yeah. Start uh, okay, next question. We we touched on this earlier when we were having a, having a coffee around the corner um, before we thought, hang on, should probably get some of this on camera. Um, but how's your how's your family coped with what I'd imagine is quite quite a big move? At the start, it was pretty hard for my partner. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, she had never been further than Australia um, in terms yeah. of travel. So to come over here to a foreign land, and um, you know, she really took it in her stride. And yeah. obviously, it's going to be hard anywhere you go. But uh, when you're a long way from your family and your friends and your support networks, it, it makes it sort of Ten times harder in a way, and we had a young family. We got a little daughter who was ten months old at the time, so trying to fit her into and like a nursery or a daycare, and then and then it's just you know like coming here and finding out. It's, it's like little things, you know, like we're used to one type of brand of milk, and over here like mm. we didn't have that kind of milk for our daughter, or like the kind of nappies that we used to, or or or, or things like that. A lot of a lot of tears, I'd say, and. A lot of hard conversations between myself and, and and my partner about whether this was the right move or not. But I think we've, we've come out the other side now, and we're really enjoying our time here. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, we we really are, and like just a bit more settled this year. Yeah. Uh, do you remember your last stubby of space <laughs> and when it was? Oh man, I love a good try star. So, so every every year, uh, I've had two Christmases here so far. The first Christmas, uh, my sister she bought me a twenty four box. 
um, of states as like a present. <laughs> yeah, so it costs it costs like it's like forty five pounds for twenty four, which is you think about it, it's a bit ridiculous. But the way I do the math in my head, it's like only two pounds a two pounds a uh, yeah a stubby. So and they are worth it, aren't they? Yeah, it's better so, than anything you'll get here. Yeah, I've got one left in the fridge from Christmas, and so that's for a rainy day when I'm having a bad day or maybe <laughs> for a rainy having, day. Yeah. Okay, then other than space and obviously, you know, families, families are probably a given, but what do you miss most about New Zealand? Yeah, oh, I, it's probably weird, but you, I think you guys call them pasties here or something like that, but we call them pies. So I miss pies. Like yeah. and cheese pies. Yes, you, Steak and cheese pies. you proper do pies out there. Bacon and neat pies. Yeah, like any time of, of the day, any time of the night. Yeah. End of the night out here, kebabs, chips. Over there, pies. Yeah, pies. Not good for the waistline, but good for the soul. Very good for the soul. What can we talk podcasts? So right. you started uh, Third Phase, yeah. I believe, and I've had listened to a couple of the episodes, actually. Uh, what, was the, what was the story, the reasoning behind behind that? Yeah, so uh, two of my best mates who lived over here, one, his name's T, and the other one's Carl. One lives in, Carl lives in London, and T lives in Ireland. They're massive, like, code heads. Like, they're not very good, honestly. Freaking nauseous. Ah! That, to be fair, you were telling the story, it was in the story, that, that, we won't count that one. You're right. Well, they love, they love, like, the, the off-field stuff, like, the things that people don't yeah. know about them. You know, like, everybody knows what we go through during the week and blah, 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 but just to get down and personal with somebody and, like, hear where they're from and, mm. and where they come from and what they've been through and their struggles or their triumphs and things like that and it was just kind of like a way for all of us especially to make sure that we kind of got together yeah um and stay connected because it's easier to, you know like it's a fast life over here in the yeah. uk you know like you know athletes in particular like we're just normal people as well. exactly like exactly we don't do anything special all yeah. we do is play sport on tv yeah do you know what i mean like whereas some of us on tv <laughs> <laughs> but but um, yeah, like we still go through the, the same struggles that exactly, yeah. somebody goes through who works a nine to five or mm. like, you know, and it's very easy for people to just like, jump it, online and easy. be like freaking, you know, like just jump on your phone and just be like, mm. but like, yeah, yeah, well, they're, they're certainly worth a listen if you haven't. We'll put a, we'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out. But, uh, so uh, we just had a we just had Christmas festive period. Yes. Um, yeah. I want to ask you a question that uh, tends to divide a nation, really. Presents on Christmas Eve, yes or no? No. No, good no. answer, no. good answer. I can't stand people. Do they do that here? Yeah, well, some people, like, everyone, they like, open one on Christmas Eve. It's like, oh, mm. get to open one on Christmas Eve. Yeah, no, we were never allowed. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's unnatural and should be stopped. <laughs> 100% right. I would like you to badly explain the plot to your favourite film. If you want, I'll go first. Man escapes and shouts in the rain. What? Man escapes and shouts in the rain. I really hope you can see it now. The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, that's a, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. That's, yeah. So I've got to say like a yeah. real shit so, explanation. Yeah. So if I can get it, like fair play. Oh, one man blows up the whole world. One man blows up the whole world. It's gonna be a shit, shit explanation, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Avengers. You know Thanos? Oh, that's fantastic. Should have got that. Really should have got that. We were sort of just touching on it there, but how do the people closest to you deal with you being in the sporting limelight? Uh, my sisters are probably the best. They just fought through the good times and the bad times. Like. When you win a game, mate, this, thing, this thing is going off, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, my phone is going off. But when when you lose, it's the same people who message you, no matter what. Like that very, fickle, very, yeah, very fickle. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it, they message you whether you win or you lose. We're getting there. Typical typical day off for, for yourself. Oh, day off. Uh, my kids are here. So at the moment, I've had... I'm gonna have about seven weeks off, no kids. My my missus is in NZ with my two daughters right now. 
I don't think she's coming. Don't kids. I don't think she's coming home. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, it's summertime over there, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't come home. Yeah. So, so she's sending me all these snaps in there at the beach, and like, my daughter's eating like two ice creams before 9 a.m. <laughs> uh, so if it's typical day off with my kids, then um, you know I'll, I'll do the early shift. Like if I'm still beach on the day before train. I'll just chuck on a movie frozen or something when when your kids get up and say look dad can we watch frozen for the 20th time this week do you ever think of just saying look kids let it go <laughs> <laughs> nine o'clock stick on itv2 give love island a go uh see what you think okay. no, I'm joking, I'm joking. itv2 itv2 is it on every day yeah okay stay uh not maybe not sundays well, oh, tonight, maybe I'll have a crack tonight. Yeah, give it a go. Nine yeah. o'clock. You haven't missed ITV much. Two. ITV yeah. two. Is that the one where the guy got kicked off? Mm. For well, uh, killing not. those animals? He, Is that right? he left voluntarily. Oh. How do you feel about a speed round? Speed round. Flat white or Americano? Flat white. Subway or Pit to Pit? <laughs> Subway. Bees or wasps? Uh, wasps. <laughs> Is it football or soccer? Soccer. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron. Lord of the Rings or Twilight? Lord of the Rings. Stormzy or Wiley? Stormzy. Dan Carter or Dan Lewis? Carter. Oh, this won't be airing. We did get you uh, a little something just to say thank you Ooh. for uh, for doing the show. In case there's a uh, more than one rainy day, <laughs> uh, this you can add that to your collection. Oh uh, no way! Don't ask me how I got it or where from. But uh, hey, this is black gold right yeah, here. No. Oh, you're a legend, yeah. mother. Thanks no worries, for that, bro. No Thank Stoked. you very much. Thank you very much. See you next time. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching episode four of Anything But Rugby by In the Second Half. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's anyone that you want to see on an episode of Anything But Rugby, let me know. Leave it in a comment. Slide into my DMs. Whatever you need to do. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.